Remember Boppets? You know, the Boppet twisted pull it lick it machines from the 90s? Chirp! Chirp, bitch! Ugh, this vine. Bop it! Well, one day I saw my old Boppet sitting around and I felt like getting nostalgic. So I looked up Boppet on YouTube and needless to say, what I found was straight trash. So I had to take matters into my own hands and make the world's best Boppet. This Boppet is so revolutionary, it will change the entire game market. I can already see the headlines now. This Boppet will literally shock you. Yeah, I did strap a homemade taser to a circuit bent Boppet. I mean, what else was I supposed to do? I'm not about that coward level Boppet. I raised the stakes to a whole new level. The rules are simple. When you lose a game of Boppet, you get shot. The rest of the rules are just Boppet rules. It's as simple as that. So Wait, the Hamachi! You never said how to win. It seems like you just keep playing until you eventually lose and get shocked. Your project just seems like a taser with extra steps. Well, so the Boppet is actually pretty easy to use. So uh, let's take a closer look and I'll show you how to do it. So this switch is on. This switch, part that doesn't tase you on. The light is on. It's not going to tase you. Yeah, that's some pretty scary stuff. The electricity moves so fast that the shutter can't even keep up with it. See these uneven lighting bars in this frame? That's because the electricity is moving faster than the shutter can pick up the light value. It's really scary. I'm trying to send high voltage electricity through people, and more importantly, myself. As a responsible human, I need to test this out and make sure it will not cause any serious damage to those who use it. So I've devised a very scientific method. <laughs> uh, it smells like hot dog in here, and that's kind of disgusting. I score three. Bop it. Yow! Oh, so close. Oh, no. Oof. The reason you couldn't hear the electricity when it was shocking the hot dog is because the current was flowing through the hot dog. Since a hot dog is more conductive than the air, the electricity went directly into the hot dog and then out the other end. The reason why this could be concerning is because that's how electrical burns happen. When electricity flows through your body, it flows through your bones because that's the most conductive part of your body. Your bones will begin to heat up and burn inside out. You may have heard the term first, second, and third degree burns. The degree of burn correlates to the layer of skin with each degree increasing in severity. An electrical burn starts with a third degree burn. They're, in my opinion, the second scariest type of burn right behind radio burns where you, yourself, literally need to amputate the part of your body that got burned before it spreads to your bloodstream. So before you mess up and make your finger actually look like a hot dog, take safety precautions. So when we cut open the hot dog, we can see that the insides are slimy and disgusting and like pink and something I would, I would never tell you to ever eat. So it's pretty much just a normal hot dog. The time has come. As an inventor, I need to test my own invention. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I really don't want to do this. I score three. Bop it. Twist it. Bop it. Bop it. I can't do this. Yeah. Ah. Mmm, oh, oh. I chickened out. <laughs> chickened out. Bop it to start. Ooh. I won't get shot by a taser. I use the hot dog, so I know it's safe. Bop it. Part of me Pull wants to grab it like tighter because I'm scared, it. but like, it. ah! Bop it. Bop it. Oh, it. oh no! Yow. Oh, so, close. so obviously this is like not gonna hurt, but it's scary! <laughs> I forgot to turn the taser on. I'm going to sleep. Ah, I was ready this time. I was going to do it. I held my hand on the thing. I was like, why isn't it shocking me? And it's, oh no, I got to do it again. <sighs> okay. This time, guys, I got this. 
I, I did it. So guys, stop saying I look like Chicken Little. He's dumb and he's a coward and I'm not a coward. So now that I've had to experience the joy of sending 10,000 volts through my body, it's time to force other people to do it. I called up my friends and went over to their house and told them they had to try the bop it. But they were feeling... Uh, apprehensive. And you know what they made me do? They made me play the bop it again. <laughs> But even after that, even after I got shocked for a second time, start. I don't want to start. So finally, after a ton of convincing, I got them to try it. We then went looking for people to try out the not taser. Oh yeah, I gotta pull an Elon Musk on this one and call it a not taser, because tasers are technically illegal in my state. If you don't have a license, uh, don't don't look up what state that is and totally stalk me, please. So it's a not taser. Our band of overly charismatic, mature people. Hell yeah. Asking people to get shocked by a couple thousand volts of electricity went as well as you would think. There was this one girl who I knew from school that we asked. She had seen me posting videos of the Bop It and Taser components on Snapchat. So when I asked her if she wanted to play Bop It, she looked at me and said, You have that thing? Oh, hell no. Then she, I kid you not, ran away. She full out ran away from us. Charismatic. Now, some of you might be asking why I made this torture device. And my answer to that is, To flex, kid, grind life never stops. But really, I wanted to show off what I could do. I really challenged myself with this project. Not only did I have to figure out the bop it completely on my own, since no tutorials exist online for how to turn a bop it into a taser for, uh, for, for some odd reason, I don't know. I also decided I wasn't gonna use a microcontroller and rely simply on electronics. I was able to figure out everything myself and learned a bunch about electronics. <laughs> Although I do wanna give a massive shout out to my friend, the guy who can't sing, for helping me troubleshoot a little bit and drawing up the circuit, which was way smarter and more advanced than anything I Made. But all of this is to say that if a teenage boy who's never taken a physics class and learned electronics off of YouTube tutorials and Google image diagrams can make inventions like this in his basement, just think about what you can do. If you have an idea you want to make, an instrument you want to play, a thing you want to learn, pop that shit into YouTube, watch some tutorials, and let's go tase some unsuspecting people on the street. Oh, yeah, assault. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Wazowski here. No. I'm Mike Wazowski. 